Welcome back. Briefly, quickly today, because it came up in the support forum this morning, and I also see it every so often in the Facebook group, and sometimes I get emails related to this, is pay your optometrist. Pay people. And what I mean by that is this morning's forum post was all about, there was an email exchange the person had with the optometrist, optometrist who was providing meaningful, excellent advice, who'd spent the time to go through measurements with this person for differentials, for close-up, for distance, and they did a fantastic job. Now, in this particular case, I don't know what their financial arrangement was, and it just reminded me of this, that make sure to pay the optometrist what the optometrist is expecting to get paid. Meaning, if you have an agreement to pay for the consult specifically, right? Like if it's not one of those $25 eye exams where they're really expecting you to sell lenses, where they make the money to pay their bills and to make the profit they need to be making, right? So if it's a consult where you both agree, hey, I'm not coming here to buy glasses, I'm coming here to get measurements and advice, and X is the price, that's fine. What's less amazing and what I recommend people don't do is, especially if it's a private practice, my opinion on big chains is is not the same necessarily, but if you're dealing with a guy who runs a business and he sells glasses and he either makes you a great deal on an eye exam or the exam is quote unquote free, make sure that the expectations are reasonable for all parties from the get-go right like don't go in there to guy who's running a small business and get all the eye exam stuff and ask all the questions and then leave him by glasses online that's that's definitely not cool you can measure yourself at home right so you don't have to go to the optometrist as far as i'm concerned right so there's no real reason for that and if you if you go take advantage of somebody who's expecting to make money off of glasses that's like stealing I mean, that's plain all it is. So please don't do that. Um, also, we want to support people that are helping you out uh, in the case of this morning's, which I'm sure they had that all settled and figured out. But when somebody actually, especially when they give you advice that that is meaningful and actionable and in keeping with what we're doing at Myopia, and you're happy with the advice, if they're, if they're selling glasses and you didn't pay like quote unquote full pli- price for an exam, then, then make sure to at least buy glasses from them saying all this because most people don't realize how expensive that person's time is for example like when i see these emails going back and forth there were like three email exchanges in this case which a lot of people don't realize is extremely time intensive i have the paid program back to 2020 and i personally provide support which depending on when you watch this may not even be happening anymore it's it's very it's a huge time commitment and in back to 2020's case it's better because we have a structured program that deals with most of the questions up front so they don't necessarily come up but doing support like you having to read through what that person's situation was analyzing what's going on asking questions making suggestions is is quite resource intensive and if somebody's really the core business is selling glasses right like that's what they do then the exam part is something that is like part of the sales process but that's like where they're investing in you and in this situation and i really like the world will end up being all giant amazons and walmarts and and everybody just having to have a shitty job and there's going to be no small business if we don't support each other Right, like I think it's extremely important to not be short-sighted. Like if you can't afford the advice or the exam, or you don't want to, then it won't happen, right? Like you can measure online, you can print out free eye charts from my site and myopia.org. You can print out free diopter rulers. You can print out all the stuff you need. You can buy the stuff online if you want. You can measure your eyesight at home. There's definitely no need to take up somebody's time who's running a business. But if you do, repeating myself now make sure to pay people right be cool keep those karma points in a positive balance that's it for this one uh and also props to all optometrists who are doing this kind of stuff um i'm not sharing this morning's messages because there's several level of private there but that person an optometrist gave excellent advice they gave the right reduced correction they gave the right distance correction they even reduced the cylinder for close-up the person 
that went to see that optometrist was in their shop, had the measurements done, that's that's super worthwhile. And if you find that kind of a scenario, it's well worth financially supporting. That's it for this free video. Subscribe if you like, like if you like. See you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.